I'm Constable Kenneth Hayden. But around here, everyone calls me Rowdy. The Precinct 4 Constables, AKA the Men in Black. Montgomery County, Texas, birthplace of the Texas flag. A conservative rural area right outside of Houston. And like its huge neighbor to the south, East County is a place rich in history, a place with its own brand of culture. But it is also an area rife with crime. Crystal meth, pills, drug dealers, violence. A typical laundry list of daily encounters for police in this impoverished backwater. And the only thing standing between the bandits of this untamed region and its peace-loving citizens is one man, Constable Rowdy Hayden. We drive black cars, and we wear black uniforms. We're the men in black. I knew that I could make this a better place to live. On the ground! You have a gun on you? Don't touch it. Go ahead, you go ahead. I've committed to the good citizens of East Montgomery County to clean up this community. We're cleaning it up. We're making, a, making this a better place to live. Texas Takedown, a story that unfolds in the badlands of East Montgomery County, Texas, a rural, crime-soaked landscape where law enforcement battles real-life outlaws in this modern-day Wild West. <laughs> Since taking office in 2008, Constable Hayden has ruled his turf with an iron fist. Its good citizens appreciate his war on crime. The bad guys don't. Texas Takedown, the real men in black. I want to thank everybody for coming and participating. Um, I don't know that since I've been elected, I've ever seen so many constables in one room. So um, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see everybody coming together, working together as one uh, within the county. With over 30,000 outstanding local warrants, Constable Hayden has recently initiated the monthly warrant roundup. Pooling his resources, he strikes acutely in certain areas with heavy manpower. Tonight's shortlist, over 550 fugitives. Not bad for a day's work. Now, it's time to get rowdy. Ask her. Hey, 421, ship is calling out, sir. Standard. Clear. We got one of our deputies uh, out in residence trying to uh, serve a... Uh, a warrant. Uh, there's a guy that he was trying to serve. He just uh, run in or bailing back into a house. So we don't know if he, he just has uh, just a minor Class C warrants or if it's something more more serious. But he is well known with with uh, law enforcement uh, being violent. He also uh, he's known to run. Jimmy Rosenbaum. A violent offender with a ton of priors. Someone local cops know well. Six some dogs on some officers? No, sir, I sure did not. Okay. It wasn't me, that was Johnny Lee. Yeah, I do rock. Get up. Walk towards that car. What the did I do wrong, man? We'll explain to you here in just a little while. What did I do wrong, sir? I'll explain to you in a little while. I'm not gonna sit and play with you right now. I didn't do anything, man. Deputy Bergman uh, arrived here with his partner, uh, Deputy K Park to uh, serve, serve some warrants on Jimmy Rosenbaum, um, pretty frequent offender here in this area. He approached the door when he uh, approached the door and identified himself. Uh, 
Uh, the suspect opened the door, realized it was law enforcement. Devin Burglar immediately recognized him as a wanted son. He, uh, at that point, slammed the door in, in uh, Deputy Burglar's face. Deputy Burglar tried to stop it with his foot. Uh, when he did, the bottom panel of the door came off. Uh, there was a pit bull there, so he backed away. Uh, the suspect then re-secured the door uh, where Deputy, uh, Deputy Burglar couldn't get in. Uh, at that point, he called for backup. Several units uh, in the area responded. We set up a perimeter on the house. Uh, we're able to make entry through the front door, identifying the suspect at the front door to meet us and make contact with us. Uh, at that point, he was tased. Upon uh, being tased, he was taken into custody. The house was clear. We did secure one pit bull, and uh, three, three other suspects were in the, uh, the common living room area. They were all taken into custody or detained at this point. Jimmy Rosenbaum has been charged with evading arrest enhanced to a felony due to similar convictions. The three other suspects were released, and so was the dog. Texas Takedown, the real men in black.